Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR quick guide. Today, we're gonna talk about spending your bronze keys, your silver keys, your gold keys. And if you notice, I have 19,000 silver keys. It has taken me several years to save that up, but in a minute, I'll tell you how I did that. I'm always getting comments from people saying, hey, I, I pulled 500 keys and I didn't get the car, or I tried six times and I didn't get the car. Well, if you look at the bronze crates, I'm sorry, if you look at the silver crates, you will see there is a 15 pull loyalty reward, which means you have to do 15 pulls to guarantee that you get the car. Sure, you might get it on try number one. You might get it on try number two. You might do 14 pulls and not get one. You have to do all 15 to guarantee the car is gonna pop out. So you gotta remember if you don't have at least 750 silver keys saved up, there is no guarantee that the car is gonna pop out of there. If you take a good look at the gold crates, you'll see there's a seven pull loyalty, meaning you're gonna need at least 70 gold keys to guarantee you get the car out of the gold crates. Another really important thing to remember is the majority of the time you pull a car, if it's not the loyalty car that pops out or the featured car, whatever you wanna call it, it's probably gonna be a one star piece of junk, a two star piece of junk, a three star piece of junk, or something along the lines of that. So if you don't have enough keys to guarantee that you hit the loyalty, you're probably gonna get a whole bunch of really lousy cars. So I would definitely make sure you have enough to hit the loyalty before trying to open these things. If you always find that you are out of keys and you're hardly ever getting one of these cars, my advice is stop spending your keys. I don't care if it takes two months or three months, just save, 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 save until you have a bunch of them saved up. That's actually how I got to start on getting all these keys. And I've been playing a long time, so a lot of times I've already got the car. It's like, hey, this is gonna be the featured car. Well, I've already got it, so I don't have to spend my keys. So for that season, that saved me quite a few keys. Also, if I do pull for the car and I get one, even if I don't like the color, I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna keep pulling for more because that is a waste of keys. You need to save every little bit of keys you can get if you don't wanna be broke all the time. So the way I got all of my keys was stop spending for several months and save up a few thousand keys. And after that, I've been as stingy as I possibly can with them. And after what, like four years or something, I've got almost 20,000 saved up. So if you always find yourself to be out of keys and you're struggling to get these cars all the time, I highly suggest stop spending those keys until you have a few thousand silver saved up, maybe a hundred or you know at least 70 gold keys. It takes a really, really long time to get the gold keys. So every time you get 70 and there's a really good car in the crate, go ahead and pull it. But if the car is not great, you might want to uh, think twice about pulling that particular car. For example, in the golden crates, there are currently two Ferraris. Neither one of these Ferraris is that good. It's not that exciting. I could care less about those two Ferraris. I'm not going to pull those keys. I'm not going to pull those cars because I don't want to spend my keys on that. I mean, it's not worth it. They're not great cars. I don't need those cars. I don't want those cars. I'm not going to use those cars. And if I did get them just to do the event that's currently up, I'm going to have to get those cars, put a whole bunch of parts, a whole bunch of game cash that they may or may not have into those just to do the event. So the event might even cost more money. So what I do is I wait for a really amazing car to be in the gold crate before I open those keys. Now, when it comes to the silver crates, there's normally two reasons to pull a car out of the silver crates. Number one is you need to do, do the prestige cup to get points for your crew, to help your crew earn a bunch of prizes. That's why I get every single prestige cup car. Now, if you're not in the crew that has a big requirements or isn't winning the prize car every season, you may not actually need to do the prestige cup. The main reason to do a prestige cup is to earn points for your crew and help them earn the prize car and stuff like that. So if your crew is not a prize car winning crew, you can always skip the prestige cups until you get into a crew that does win the prize car. Now, the second reason to pull one of these cars out of the silver crates when there's a featured car is if it's a really good car, if it's one of the really awesome cars and you just really need an awesome car, it might be worth spending your keys to get it. So I wait for either really amazing cars or when I need to earn the points for my crew. So remember, if you don't have 750 silver keys or you don't have 70 gold keys, there's a chance you may not get the car if you pull. So save them keys up and don't pull the cars if you don't actually need to. Now, if you've got a big old honking wallet and you're like, hey, I don't mind spending a whole bunch of money 
hey, support your game, spend some money, buy some keys, buy some cars, buy some parts. That's awesome. But if you can't, this kind of advice is for you guys. Finally, let's talk about the bronze keys really quickly. So what I like to do is save them for two, three, four, five, six months, get at least 20 or 30,000 bronze keys saved up. And then when I do get a car that I really, really like, I can spend my bronze keys to get parts for that car. For example, I'm in, currently in the 2020 Corvette Stingray. Let's just say I want to get parts for this car. I want to max this car out. I'm going to go ahead and go into Rare Imports, and then I'm going to click on the little tab that says Parts. Whatever car I'm currently in, it's going to pull up crates for that car that I can spend my bronze keys on. And if I dump 20 or 30,000 bronze keys onto here, I will get all the stage six and I will get most of, not all of, I'll probably be missing five, six, maybe 10 pink parts. But after spending 20 or 30,000 bronze keys, I'll probably get 90% of the parts, 90% of the fusion parts and all of the stage six for that car. So do whatever you want with your bronze keys, spend them right away, save them up. But I like to save them to max cars out. That way when I get a really awesome car, I can just go in there and get as many parts for it as possible and make that car awesome quickly. All right, so I guess it was not as quick of a quick guide as I expected. It looks like we're around six minutes right now. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to help support the channel, check out the thank you button or the join button down below the video or the Danny Lightning merch store. Drop down the video's description for some game info, some news, some other ways to help support the channel and all that good stuff. Again, like, subscribe. Hit the little bell, set the notifications all, and we will catch you next time. All right, thanks for watching, lighting it out. See ya.